Welcome. Today we are going to show you how we are going to make the, uh, the max test. And um, right now we'll just have to do some preparations for the test. I'll just uh, show you that. Before we begin we need to make sure that the calibration of the uh, gas analyzer is, is alright. So we've pushed on on this uh, button. It has to be turned on five minutes before we use it. And then through this software program we are going to in initiate the uh, calibration. We have the program here and to start off we do a calibration. So we go to file, test, calibration and the first first thing that we are going to do a calibration on is the gas analyzer of oxygen and carbon dioxide so we go in here go to the Argo R and R open the gas so watch the machine this is the calibration hole for the sample line so this should be connected here when we do the gas analysis. And now we wait and make sure not to talk, touch the uh, Cosmil apparatus um, so we don't get any, um, any disturbances in the calibration. Now it's washing out the, the gas that's in the chamber beforehand. Should just take a while and then it will start to measure. This is the real-time representation of the gas calibration. Red lines seen on this plot is oxygen, black lines represent flow, and the blue lines represent carbon dioxide concentrations. The dotted lines you see on the plot are the reference values that we are shooting for. Now we have the calibration results and Basically, we're looking at if any of these numbers are red, it indicates that uh, the, it's an unac unacceptable value. So this looks fine. All right, after you've done the uh, calibration from the ga gas of the flask, we, we, we want to make sure that we turn it on so, it, so the, the gas doesn't leak out. So make sure that it's closed on all three tabs that we have here. Yeah. Now we are going to make a calibration of the volume um, of the, on the flow meter, which is this one. And we are going to do that with a turbine or a calibration syringe. <coughs> this indicates the, the way that you should breathe into it, so this of course this also applies for the calibration. Put that here. Make sure that the it starts with being pushed all the way in. Then we would go back to the device, to the software program, press file, calibration, and then we do turbine calibration. And we can see we don't have a breathing valve on, so we just do the normal calibration syringe here. Now wait for the calibration window to open up here. I can see it now. You just make repeated inspirations and expirations. Should do about ten and make sure that you get the clicking sound, so you make the movement all the way back and forth. And again we have a calibration results here, and they are also within acceptable value. Alright, disconnect it here. And just hang it here. And now the uh, the Cosmel apparatus is, we finished the calibration of, of the Cosmel machine. You can also do a calibration of the atmosphere, but we are not going to do that now, uh, of the gas uh, content of the atmosphere. And you do this in the gas and air uh, of the calibration menu. So we say exit calibration. So now the machine is calibrated, the gas closed. 
uh, and then we're ready for a patient.